Hello and welcome to the WebCertain Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Cal O'Connell and here are today's top stories. Germany has warned social media sites that they will face steep fines if they do not deal with fake news and illegal content. Alphabet has committed to educating 1 million people in Africa and Belgian e-commerce grew by 10% in 2016. The German Justice Minister has warned that social media companies could receive fines of up to 50 million euros if they're found to not be dealing with illegal content and fake news. He said that social sites were not doing enough to ensure that problematic content was being dealt with. He proposed that the introduction of laws that would make it mandatory for illegal posts to be deleted within seven days of them being reported with clearly criminal content having to be removed within 24 hours. Any company found not to be meeting the new policies would face a fine. Whilst Facebook deletes just over a third of its reported content, Twitter only deletes 1%, something that the German justice minister says is not sufficient. The proposed law would also apply to any so-called fake news that was found to be slanderous, defamatory or libelous. However, the draft law has come under fire from the German digital trade association Bitkom, which has said that having to remove content within 24 hours would be impossible operationally. Google's parent company Alphabet has just announced plans to educate another 1 million students in Africa after it just finished teaching its first 1 million. The students would be part of the company's digital skills program, which is currently based in Lagos, Nairobi and Johannesburg. People can register for the program for free and have a choice of 89 different courses. Bunmi Banjo from Google in Sub-Saharan Africa said that the main thing that was stopping the population from moving forward online was a lack of understanding of how to use digital tools, adding that Alphabet was aiming to provide training to young people and business owners. In order to train another 1 million pupils, the program will be expanded to more locations across the continent and will be made available in such languages as Swahili and Hausa. Belgian e-commerce grew by 10% in 2016. A joint study from B-Commerce, PostNL Worldwide and Google showed that the total amount spent online by consumers in the country equaled 9.1 billion euros in 2016. This represented 16% of the country's entire retail market. 13% of total e-commerce purchases were made on mobile devices, with 4% coming from smartphones and the remaining 9% from tablets. Tickets were the most popular category of item to be bought online, making up 85% of purchases, whilst the biggest growth was seen in the food category, which saw a 135% increase compared to 2015. A new survey has found that 77% of the Maltese population aged between 16 and 74 used the internet in 2016. The country's National Statistics Office said that this was an increase of more than 2% over 2015 survey and that it is now used for communication by 95% of users. It was also reported that the lowest use was in the 65 to 74 demographic where just 38% of people used the web, whilst the highest use was found in those aged between 16 and 24, where 98% of the respondents were regular users. Meanwhile, 35% of respondents said that they'd used cloud computing regularly in 2016, a drop of nearly 4% since 2015, although the number had increased by 4.9% in the 16 to 24 age group. And finally, in 2016, Japanese marketers spent around double the amount of money on social media than they did on news and curation apps when it came to digital in-feed ads. According to a recent study from CyberAgent, 90 billion yen was spent on social media in-feed ads, 
whilst just 45 billion went towards news app in-feed ads, with the entire market being worth 140 billion yen. The study also forecasts high levels of growth in the digital in-feed ad market, with social's share expected to grow faster than any other sector. By 2022, CyberAgent expects marketers will be spending 181 billion yen on social in-feed ads, with just 120 billion yen going towards the rest of the in-feed ad market. And that's all from me today. Thank you for joining us and be sure to check out our catch-up TV service to access our full database of in-depth interviews with global digital marketing professionals, news, how-to videos and more. See you next time.